stop everything you're doing. Stop right now, right now. Aside from watching this video, keep watching this video. You know what day it is? What day? Right now, right now. It is December first. December first. That means that means that means that means Christmas. 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 It's it's December first. That means that means it's almost Christmas. But I mean I mean it means 25 days away. Christmas. Hello everybody and welcome to 25 Days of Suggestions 2021, the annual series here on my channel where you guys suggest a car for me to review and I randomly pick one car to review every day leading up to Christmas. Now, this year suggestions are still open so if you haven't suggested a car, make sure you do. You can suggest any car in my collection as long as I haven't reviewed it in 2021 and as long as it isn't a new release for 2021, but anything else is complete fair game. I'd love to have as many suggestions as possible, so make sure you suggest a car if you haven't yet. Guys, I can't believe this. This is the fifth round of 25 Days of Suggestions on my channel. A few months back, we celebrated the channel's four-year anniversary, and now this is the fifth Christmas, or it will be the fifth Christmas, I'm gonna have here on my channel, and that's absolutely insane. And, much like last year, every single day for 25 Days of Suggestions, I'll be opening up a day in the year's Mini Racers Advent Calendar. I used to not really care much for these, but then last year they started including new exclusive cars, and they started in 2019 including these awesome track pieces, and I love those. I had a blast with the 2020 Advent Calendar, with its new releases, its track, and all of its accessories, and honestly, I think this year's Advent Calendar is even better, as it's Radiator Springs themed instead. And it connects to last year's Advent Calendar with this road here, you have an ice rink of these different Radiator Springs buildings and three new minis, Luigi, Red, and Flo. Now, unfortunately, it includes the same Lightning and Mater as last year. I believe they will be the exact same ones, but that's okay. I would have preferred something new, but perfectly fine with that. We have three other new minis anyway, Luigi, Flo, and Red, like I said, which is great because the three of them really don't have all that many mini variants. Just kind of strange we didn't get a Holiday Ramon. That would have been a nice additional one. But, yeah, you can see on the back here, everything included here. This intersection is to connect it to last year's track. It actually includes 26 pieces compared to last year's, which had 24. So I guess one day it's going to have some additional ones. But super pumped to open this up. Let's uh, get started here. Last year, I got to say, I think last year I got pretty good at predicting what was behind the doors. Uh, some days I did really well with that. Some days I certainly... Did not, but I have a prediction for who's behind door one here. Um, just going off of what door one was last year. If I could get this plastic wrap off. Super excited to be doing the mini advent calendar. Uh, I'll be showing you guys my little diorama of it as the month continues, but I'm going to be connecting it to my uh, mini's advent calendar. Whoa, from last year. I'm going to set that up. I'm going to connect it to this on the little table where I put it last year. But let me just cut the video real quick and get it out of the plastic. All right, guys, so I took the plastic off of the advent calendar. Day one is right here. I wonder if the days are in the same places uh, that they were in last year, because it looks pretty similar to me. Now, last year, day one was this guy right here, the Holiday Hotshot McQueen Mini Racer. Easily my favorite mini racer from that calendar. I thought he would be the last day, but he was the first, which Makes sense, you know, he's McQueen, and I got a feeling that since he's included again, it's uh, probably going to be him behind day one again. Now, regarding this, if it is him, I'm probably not going to repaint him. I think I'm going to leave him out and just put him on my big display. I'm going to include both dis uh, McQueens for my display. Like I said, I'll be combining the two advent calendars as one of my Christmas decorations. Let's see. Uh... Just punch this open without knocking everything else over. Okay. This is not gonna work. Ty, you own a tripod. Why do you let it come to this? There we go. All right, punch down and day one. Yep. Once again, day one is the one and only. Whoa, McQueen. Dude, what happened to your eyes? Okay, I'm definitely, uh, wait. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said this, but uh, when I was unwrapping the plastic, I also got our usual red tissue paper that I always put down for 25 days. Um, I accidentally dropped the other McQueen, but McQueen, my guy! 
you've uh, you've changed quite a bit since I last saw you. You're uh, you're you're looking up a bit more. There is a chip under your mouth, good sir. I, I hope you're aware of that. Wow. Now I I knew that they changed up the expressions for the minis a little bit this year, but uh, I didn't know that they changed McQueen's. That is interesting. I don't think that's a change. That's just the pupils and the eyebrows being readjusted a little. I'll probably still end up repainting this guy at the end of the day, maybe, most likely, probably will, um, but of course, after 25 days. Definitely very interesting. I'll still be repainting him probably since, again, I already have the McQueen. The only thing that's different is the eyes. I may as well repaint him. Um, I will say, though, I actually kind of prefer this one, so I don't know what I'll do with him. Maybe I'll keep him. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I don't know, but I have the very nice snow-covered tires there, all the snow on the side, the green lightning bolt, which I was supposed to resemble a Christmas tree. Nothing written on the back there. Unlike his normal uh, 155 scale die cast, unfortunately, this guy isn't metallic. That would have been a really nice change for them to do this year, to include a metallic Holiday Hotshot McQueen like they have for the normal die cast line. That would have been a cool way to set them apart, but unfortunately, we didn't get that. But there we go. That's day one in the books, something, of course, that you would already have if you had last year's advent calendar, but you couldn't not include McQueen. Anyway, though, with all that out of the way, let's finally get started with today's review, day one's review, Cars 3 Todd Marcus, suggested by Mario's Great Cars. Thank you so much for your suggestion, as always. And again, guys, suggestions are still open, so make sure you suggest a car if you haven't yet. Originally released in an 11 pack in 2017, I got this guy in one of his subsequent multi-pack releases and I believe 2018. Todd Marcus is definitely one of my favorite Cars 1 racers and I think he's a pretty underrated Cars 3 racer. I like just how similar he looks to his Cars 1 counterpart and I also like all the red on him because there really aren't all that other all that many other Piston Cup racers with red on them probably so that you could identify McQueen better. He's got a very nice no stall logo there on the hood with this checkerboard pattern as a gradient very subtle underneath that writing, referencing the checkerboard pattern that went all over Todd Marcus in the first movie. I've got 123 there, I've got his headlights, really like his expression. He's of course using the Cal Weathers mold. That expression was used by a few other racers like Darren Ludfoot and I believe the original Terry Cargas, I wanna say. Moving on to the side, I really like those wheels. Really, really like those wheels. Interesting to incorporate blue and in Todd's design um, it'd be nice to see this in red and black like he originally was, but I think that dark blue suits him a lot better than I would initially think. Like, if you were going to tell me, oh, Todd Marcus is red and blue now, I wouldn't be too sure how to feel about it, but I think this execution was really good. Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid there. Once again, far more subtle checkerboard pattern. Looking really nice there. Just a gradient in the background. The 1, 2, 3 for his number. Arrow down there. No cell logo back there, his gas cap. Love those wheels, like I said before. One, two, three up top and a lighter blue, almost like a uh, greenish blue color there. No stall on the top, no stall on the back. Got this camera, the 123, such a nicely detailed racer. I feel like because of the next gens, um, the Cars 3 veterans have kind of become pretty underrated, I'd say. I really like the details on them and I, I just really like the upgrades to the original Todd here. I like how similar he is, but yet he's quite different. And if you want to pick up Todd, he's actually currently available in a Walmart exclusive five pack. It's his made in Vietnam variant. I know that turns some people off, but it's, it's the only way to currently get him in stores. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Once again, this was today's mini racer advent calendar door holiday hotshot McQueen, but this time He's looking higher up, and I don't know whether I'll repaint him or not after the series is over. Thank you once again to Mario's Great Cars for suggesting this car. Thank you to you guys for suggesting. Make sure to do it if you haven't yet, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow for hopefully a shorter review. These first days are always pretty long because I have to go over all the rules. But from here on out, it's going to be a little opening sketch at the beginning, advent calendar unboxing, and review. And I hope you guys are as excited for the rest of this year's 25 Days of Suggestions as I am. Bye now.